Have you ever wanted to learn a language, play an instrument, or master a new hobby only to get overwhelmed and give up? Recently I decided to learn Adobe After Effects, but as I stared at all the buttons, tools, and timelines, it felt quite daunting. I've learned difficult software before and all the years spent struggling was not something that I wanted to repeat. That's when I decided to try something a little different. I remembered reading Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Chef, where he presented a structured framework for learning any skill fast. So I thought, why not enlist the help of AI to see if I could apply Tim Ferriss's methods and use it to master the art of Adobe After Effects. But what's actually the best way to do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step. And by the end of this video, you'll have a process to apply Tim Ferriss's methods to turn AI into a custom coach. A coach that'll help you take on that skill you've always wanted to master. Pretty cool, right? Let's dive into how you can build your own AI-powered learning companion, fully capable of building tailor-made lesson plans like this one. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping lifelong learners such as yourself, entrepreneurs, marketers, and folks all over the world to apply these new AI tools to embed their lives and their work. I've got a cheat sheet version of this video along with coaching options available to my Patreon supporters. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider checking out my Patreon options. So here's our man, Tim Ferriss, the best-selling author, podcaster, and self-described human guinea pig. He's known for his experimentation with various lifestyle hacks, including rapid learning techniques. He released a book, I don't know, 10 years ago or so that is called The 4-Hour Chef. It focuses on acquiring the skill of cooking in a short time frame, but it's really a book about learning. So Ferris argues that the methods can be applied to mastering almost any skill, and he uses the acronym DISCAFE to help you remember how to build these skills. Now, DISCAFE stands for for dis deconstruction, selection, sequencing, and stakes. Cafe is compression, frequency, and encoding. Together, dis is the blueprint, and cafe is basically the execution. I've created an angry looking waiter here serving a cup of coffee to help you remember this. This waiter is dissing you at a cafe. I've got the mid journey prompt right there as well if you're interested in creating images like that. The deconstruction part of dis simply means breaking down a complex skill into its smallest, most fundamental parts. And this helps you identify the core building blocks for focus practice. The selection process of the DIS framework uses the Pareto principle to help you focus on the most important 20% of the skills that you need to acquire 80% of the desired results. This helps you to streamline your learning for efficiency. The sequencing part helps you arrange the selected building blocks in a logical progression that builds upon itself. This avoids frustration and ensures that you master the basics before tackling the more advanced concepts. Stakes helps you create real consequences or incentives to maintain motivation and prevent procrastination. This could be anything from telling a friend about your goal setting to a financial penalty for failure. Moving on to the cafe section. Compression involves finding core concepts or key patterns within a subject. Think about creating summaries, concept maps, or finding other ways to simplify complex information. The frequency is how you're going to expose yourself to this information, learning it over time. And encoding refers to ways you can make this information personally meaningful to you. This is done through elaboration, connecting new information to things that you already know, mnemonics, using an acronyms or rhymes or images to aid recall, or looking at storytelling and emotional connection, attaching humor or personal stories that can make something easier to remember. Together, this is in a way the blueprint and cafe is the way that you're going to execute on that blueprint. I believe this process is a perfect candidate for something that you can automate with AI, such as chat GPT uh, using these custom GPTs as well as Gemini. We're going to start today with some prompts you can use for each of these sections and then we're going to build a custom GPT out of a prompt sequence and then we're going to get into how to customize and personalize this for your specific learning style. So jumping into the cheat sheet here, this is a subject matter really close to my heart so I really went to town on this. It's well over 20 pages, a lot of great resources in here. Let's start with this prompt under the deconstruction section. Break down a skill into essential sub skills and provide sample definitions for each. Hopping into ChatGPT, I'm going to copy and paste that into here. The skill, I'm going to do French cooking for this first example. You can see ChatGPT has broken this down into various sub skills here that are very important. Now I'm going to move on to this prompt to achieve my goal of basic French cooking, which sub skills are most important to master. Moving into the selection phase. And now it has narrowed it down from 10 to about 6 here, which is 
is uh, still quite a lot of skills. So I'm gonna follow it up with this prompt. Assuming I can only practice 30 minutes a day, which sub skills are an absolute priority? Awesome, this has really helped narrow it down to the most critical skills of knife skills, sauteing, sauce making, and seasoning and flavoring, even giving us some ideas of how we might spend our time given that 30 minute time allotment. I like this prompt and this idea of setting myself up for success by giving me some quick wins. So I'm gonna ask it which sub skills can be learned quickly to give me some early wins and motivation. Very cool, it's now given me a few different projects here that seem fairly simple and can get me started on my path to mastering French cooking. Now we're moving on into the sequencing section here. So can you recommend an order to learn these sub skills? Awesome, it's now put these projects in order from most basic to more complex and match them to the sub skills that we've decided on earlier. You can see it goes from knife skills, basic vinaigrette, where you learn flavor balance, sauteing, simple sauce, omelet, and a dessert. And now I've just dropped this into a doc, which is the beginning of my customized lesson plan. And now we're moving on to the steaks section here. Help me craft a social media post announcing my commitment to become a French chef by, let's say, six months. Make it sound exciting and something I wouldn't want to back out of. So here's a social media announcement that can really up the stakes and let everybody know about this goal in a way that will help you make sure that you follow through on that. So now we're moving into the cafe section of the process. The compression part is the first part here. So taking some of these skills and really putting them into short digestible sections that you can use on your learning journey. So now I'm dropping in this prompt to create a one page cheat sheet for the knife skills section, including the most important formula steps and any key points. And here's the guide it came up with for the first sub skill. Very helpful here explaining what to do. And now I've continued through the rest of the sub skills, building these guides for each one, a guide to mastering basic vinaigrettes, etc. And I have loaded them into the document here that we have been working on. So you can see we go through everything that it has recommended and it's given us a little lesson for each one. But this still felt pretty robust or a little too much. So I went back to the cheat sheet to see if we could compress this down even more using this prompt. Can you provide two to three sentence summary of each sub skill? And here's how ChatGPT responded with a few sentences about each sub skill, really compressing it down to the core elements that you need for each of these sub skills. And I added that to my document. And finally, it was time to move into the frequency section and put together a schedule for learning these skills. So I use this prompt. I'm learning this new skill. I've broken it down into these sub skills. I have X amount of time each week. Help me create a weekly schedule that prioritizes these areas and promotes consistent practice. And here's what it came up with. Given your two hour weekly learning window for French cooking and the sub skills you have identified, let's create a structured yet flexible schedule that ensures consistent practice and progress. And it starts with your knife skills, sauteing skills, seasoning, sauce making days, detailed schedule, and gives you some tips for success. And this is the final section of this guide here that now builds a full schedule for how you're gonna focus on these specific sub skills that felt great very satisfying but I feel like there's a way to do this even better by building a custom GPT from these prompts and this is something that's very simple anybody can do it once you have a prompt sequence you can turn those into instructions for a custom GPT let me walk you through that right now so I have a whole video on converting prompt sequences into instructions for custom GPTs. I'll link to that now. Basically, from that video, you can find this custom GPT that I've built that will take any list of prompts and turn that into instructions for a custom GPT. I'm dropping that prompt sequence that we just went through in here, and it is generating these instructions for us. And now I am copying these instructions into a custom bot. So just select all of them, go into Explore GPTs, go into Create right here, skip this Create tab, go straight to Configure. I'm going to skip the image. You can put whatever image you want in there. I'm just calling it the Learn Anything Bot. Tell me what you want to learn and I'll create a program for rapid skill acquisition. I'd like to test this out on my Adobe After Effects plan of attack. 
I will include all of these instructions in the cheat sheet for this video if you want to recreate this bot. I'll also include a link to this custom GPT in the cheat sheet if you just want to jump in and start using this custom GPT is probably the fastest way to get started with this. You can see those here. All right, let's give this a test drive for learning Adobe After Effects. It's generated all the different sub skills and now it has asked us if we want to use the 80-20 rule to find the ones that are going to give us the best results immediately. All I need to say is please proceed. It's outlined the five most important sub skills and now it's asking us if it wants a little summary of each of these. I'm just going to say please proceed. All right, now it's given us a little bit of each of these, which I think we're now at a good place to start building my guide. So I'm gonna copy and paste these into a guide. Here's the beginning of that guide. I'm gonna ask it to please proceed with recommending an order in which I should learn these. It's already beginning to map out a plan of attack for us of how we should learn this. I'm going to say yes, please proceed to step five or we create a weekly schedule. Awesome. Here's my weekly schedule. This is assuming that you have five to 10 hours a week, which you might want to dial that up or down, I guess. And now finally, while I'm here, I'm going to ask it for an example exercise for each of these sub skills. Here are some cool example exercises I'm going to add to my doc. Now I'm just going to ask it, please give me step-by-step -step details for one of these. So it's actually walking me through what I need to know. And there's an awesome step-by-step -step tutorial on the basics of animation. You can go through each sub skill and ask for this type of thing, starting with basics and moving on to more intermediate exercises. There is a ton in this cheat sheet that I created for this video. There is, uh, in addition to all the prompts we went over, there's at least 10 times as many. There's over 100 prompts, I think, in this cheat sheet going deeper with all of these. There are more prompts for goal setting, uh, assessing experience, time management, and this one I think is one of the most important here is learning styles. So before you get started with any of this, you can use Use the LLM to help you understand your learning style and in that way adjust your prompts to fit your learning styles and that's critical here to really personalize this not just do what I've done but start to really train this large language model on who you are on how you learn the best and to build out your own process it's so easy to create these custom GPTs I'm a huge fan of it almost everybody who's dabbled with large language models knows how to do a prompt or two but then really extending that into a prompt sequence as we've done and then building a custom GPT like I've shown you there and again I have the instructions all in the cheat sheet if you want to deconstruct those and kind of pick those apart and customize those so that you can really have something that will help you accelerate all of your learning from now until forever thanks a ton for watching again I've got that cheat sheet there available to my patreon supporters I've got dozens and dozens of other ones they're all immediately accessible to you if you want to support me on patreon uh, otherwise you can just kind of go back through the video and pause it in different places and take screen grabs uh, in my patreon also I also have some options for some group coaching I've got a group that meets Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern and we just discuss all sorts of fun stuff related to creating custom GPTs and Gemini and all the different agents that are coming out and what's up with AGI all these different things that are gonna be coming at us in the coming months and years 
uh, trying to get ahead of that. There's also some one-on-one -on -one coaching options. Thanks a ton for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you struggled with. Let me know what I didn't explain clearly. If you got ideas for future videos, let me know. Otherwise, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true.